Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this afternoon's matchup between the Eagles and the 49ers. The running back position today, manned by a couple of stars of the sport. What are you looking for here? Yeah, it's kind of refreshing, isn't it, to do a game where it's all about the running backs. We have to talk about the how good the quarterback is, and aren't they special? Well, these two running backs are special, and we see it each week how they play, but also we see it how the offenses are designed. It is around the running backs. He's a dangerous returner, and he'll have a chance to show you right here. The 49ers line up in the pistol offense. Gores lined up as the single back. First and ten, Frank Gore gets it here. Holds him to a yard. Well, when you're going to run the football, if that's your objective, you cannot get frustrated by short runs. You know that it's going to build itself as the game goes along, so keep trying. Second and nine. Getting sacked. Well, the defense has got to be happy about this situation. Anytime early in the game you get an offense in third long, you are looking to make a play and get things rolling on your side. And Manningham in the slot. Third down and 14. Pickup. So here's a cover four defense. Four defensive backs stopping the deep passes down the field, but nobody is there to stop the crossing routes. First down following the long play. Tight ends in motion here. The play clock's running down. to take off with it looking for an open receiver on the right well you played this cover cover four in other words you've got four defenders playing deep equally spread across the field well who's going to cover the in cuts and underneath nobody that's why the quarterback got an easy completion that time on the in route second down Kaepernick's play action throws to the right with two hands he has it he'll be brought down but not before picking up the first down it's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes that's what did it that time look at the quarterback nice fake defense reacts to the run and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion First down here after the completion. Halfway through this first quarter now. They run right, and that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Second and three. Play action. And he's forced to the ground. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. And there's Jim Harbaugh. His first two years as a head coach, 
all the way to the NFC title game. The next year, another step, all the way to the Super Bowl. Oh, boy, no more doubt in Jim Harbaugh. This guy is just one terrific football coach. He did it at the University of San Diego. He did it at Stanford and with Andrew Luck, and he's done it in two years. He's been in the NFL. He's a great quarterback coach, and he is a leader of men. He made a decision midseason in 2012 to go with Colin Kaepernick. That took a lot of guts to make that call, and he proved that in the end it was the right decision to make. Well, he played quarterback, Jim, for a long time in the NFL, so I think that experience of being a quarterback in the league and then just having the toughness and the courage to make such a controversial change, I think we all now can look at it and say, oh, he made the right decision, but when he did it, boy, there were a lot of second-guessers, but Jim Harbaugh has shown everybody he knows a lot about football. Vic will be under center. The running back goes in motion. First down and 10. Looks to his left. A foot race to the end zone. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. That is for the touchdown. Short passes are just as important as the long passes down the field. This time, a short, accurate pass. Look what it leads to. All those yards after the catch. Nice run, nice catch, touchdown. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. He will run this one back. First down, offense readying for the snap. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Makes the reception. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts him in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. It's now second down. They feed the running back. They break through, tackle him behind the line. This play just takes so long. That's why it doesn't work too often in the NFL. Fast defenses. The quarterback makes the fake. He tosses the football outside to the runner. Nowhere to go, and he loses yards on the play. Following the run, it's now third and seven. Jumps high into the sky and has it. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. One more snap, and that'll end the quarter. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. The 49ers offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. Lined up in the pistol formation. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Good job by the defense all day long when the offense runs the football. They are ready for the challenge and not giving up very many yards. And now they'll try over again on second down. for the deep ball 
And the interception by Patrick Chung. Bringing the play to an end. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. And it's first down. Trying to work that ball's picked off. Breaks free. Count it. Touchdown. What a catch. What an interception. And not only that, take it all the way back for a touchdown. You talk about deflating for an offense. Oh, shoot. That, that gets close to making them quit. The 49ers will tie it up with this extra point. Extra point is good. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Ten. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. And it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense got to be happy with that. There's some shifting around in the backfield. Vick's going to take it from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Should have had it. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Second down and 10. Gain of eight. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around, and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. Halfback sent in motion. And the flag comes out, looking for a receiver on the left side here. It's intercepted! Nice tackle. Players for both sides made it appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. They face first down. McCoy is going to take the handoff now. They deck him in the backfield. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. That leads us to second down. Vick in shotgun formation. Throws the pass. Reed is there and makes the play. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route right on the outside. Show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. The defense gets the sack. Well, that's a good job by the defense at times, getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. You better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. Second and 22. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. Michael Vick will be under center. In trouble now. There is a flag throw. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first, and now we've got a fourth down situation. 
the defense will not decline. They will take the penalty. Bryce Brown is in the backfield. Running back in motion here. Michael Vick will take it from the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. He caught it. 36-yard gain. Well, it's always about risk and reward. It is a risk to go for it on fourth down. When you pick it up, you feel like a genius, don't you? Here's the first snap after the big play. Fix going back to the air on this play. Escaping the pressure. Could have been intercepted. McCoy's out in the slot. Second and ten. The throw to the left. He's going to the left. Six in the books. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. Gives his return. Two-minute warning. First down here. Kaepernick from the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Vernon Davis hauls it in. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch and gets a first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. He's scrambling now, breaks free, has some space to work with. Black round, black round, black Frank round, Gore black is round. in the backfield. Running back, gets it on the handoff. Well, when you talk about edge players in the NFL, that means play on the edge, rush the quarterback, and stop the outside runs. How about that play by the defensive end? Tight end in motion. And the give to Frank Gore. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. First down here after the run. Throw it over the middle. Vernon Davis hauls it in. When you see defenses playing man-to-man -man coverage, what they are seeing, we are going to force the quarterback to make an accurate throw. Well, that time, that was accurate. That's why they got the completion. The 49ers in field goal formation. The kick 
Well, even though they get the field goal that time, it's still disappointing. You get in that position, you'd like to score a touchdown. So that's going to do it for the first half. Eagles are up in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Eagles lead by four. A check to the sidelines with Danielle Bellini reporting. I got a chance to quickly speak with Coach Harbaugh during halftime. His team is on the wrong side of the scoreboard so far today. He said we haven't played great football today. It's as simple as that. This is the NFL, and if you want to win, you need to play great. Average just doesn't cut it. Guys, let's see if they can be great here in the second half. Thanks, Danielle, and now we'll go to the field. Michael Vick will be under center. Not a wise throw there into double coverage. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses it. Offense lines up here. Second and 10, McCoy. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Forces a three and out. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Jackson's lined up now as a slot receiver. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. He sends the halfback in motion. First and ten. Knocked down. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. Second down coming up. To the ground here. Shrugs off the first hit. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That's an interception. They pounce on him there. Most NFL linebackers, their borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defense about. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Bolden's a receiver in the slot. First and ten. Quarterback tosses it to the outside. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting. And they hold the running back to a short game. Second down coming up. Looking across the middle, what a hit, and the ball is dropped. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. And Manningham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third down and eight, and incomplete. Well, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at their stomach. <laughs> Offense lines up here. Throws to the right. The 49ers now move the chains. 
When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Escaping the pressure, gets past the first wave. Play number six coming up on this drive. First and ten. They hand it off to the running back. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Setting up in the pistol on this play. They better hurry to get the snap. Kaepernick's got it in the gun. Trying to make something happen. Secures it with two hands. Steps out of bounds. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. This will be the eighth play of this drive. It's away from the pressure. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. Getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. Here we have second down. Gore, and he's in for the touchdown. There's the signal from the far side. It is a touchdown. He broke the plane. He broke the plane from just a yard away. The flag is out as the play continues. That's what happens when you try to guess the snap count. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Kaepernick. And so they convert it here on the two-point drive. <laughs> 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Vic will be under center. First and ten going across the middle. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. That's a face mask call. And, of course, for now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players tackle too high. Get your arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Navarro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Got what he wanted. Touchdown.
down. Well, the offensive line did it all in this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first and goal. Nice job of pass blocking, and the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. So they get the touchdown, but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Bolden's lined up in the slot. First and ten. They'll give it to the back. Out of the eye. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. And Crabtree's in the slot. Second and six. Pushes aside one tackler. Fifteen minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The 49ers offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. Kendall Hunter is in the backfield. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. Straight ahead. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there, and it's good for a few yards and gets them another first down. And Manningham's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. They'll stay on the ground on first down. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense. And now they have a good situation. Manningham's a receiver in the slot. Trying to beat the play clock. Looking to scramble. He's brought down. Number seven on the line. Offense lines up here. Play clock's running down. That'll be five yards. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense.
That flag has backed up the offense into a third and 14. Third and 14. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. 49ers in the end zone. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, and they give up the running touchdown. There's a flag out. The point after try is in the books. Awesome. Players from both sides making an appeal, but the officials saw it on the defense. The 49ers for the extra point. Makes the PAT. Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. This big return is going to set up his team in excellent field position. Timeout called by the defensive unit. Down, coming up. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Makes the catch in the open field. He's in for the score. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding him. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two point drive. Could have taken the one point gimme. They went for the two and they are turned away. That's a timeout call. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. And he'll start his return. And they tackle him down at the 37 yard line. Now on first down. Gores handed the football. It's away from the stack. Impressive piece of running by Gore. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards.
Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. is running out here in the fourth and the defense is trying to preserve this win he gets it again on this drive well Jim they didn't pull the defense at all second down you run the football hoping to make it third and short then you lose yards third longs they're hard to get in the NFL two minute warning Drawing near a close, and the defense is trying to preserve a victory. He has the grab. The tackle was made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Gore is in the backfield. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. Needs to get rid of it. Makes the grab. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed, and he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. They've got a first down now after that catch. First and ten. Frank Gore gets it here. A tackle behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The 49ers get set to snap the football. Only one timeout remaining here in the fourth, and they sack the quarterback. offensive line gets in position can they protect their quarterback and he's going to be tackled and that's going to bring us to fourth down defensive coordinators love this situation don't they third and long they can do just about anything and it's going to work and they stop the offense that time the kick is through for three that field goal probably locks this one up, Phil. Yeah, it locks it up. And it was it, listen, it was a hard fall game, a lot of fun to watch. And that field goal, listen, that was a tough drive. And I, I don't know. I didn't feel easy about sending the, the field goal kicker out to make it. The coach made the decision, and it worked out in his favor. Get ready to snap the football. They must be careful. They have no timeouts to play with. That's one of those plays. If it doesn't work, everybody's going to get on the offensive coordinator for running the football there late in the game when they're behind. But he caught the defense off guard. It was a good risk by them and a good game. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. The running back goes in motion. Vic in shotgun formation. Throws the pass. He fires it in there tight. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered. 
and you still couldn't make the play. The Eagles now with a chance to go ahead here in the fourth with this field goal attempt. An empty possession for the offense. There it is. The game has come to an end. It was a good one throughout. Hotly contested right down to the wire. How much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline? Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. You feel good about what you've done from the previous week because you won. 